Anyway, uh, because uh, so yeah, I'm probably not going to be cooking for much longer because odds are good I am probably going to end up moving in with my mom, who has a tiny, tiny little nothing of a uh, kitchen. But I feel like I'm probably not going to honestly. I don't know that I'll be live very often at all once I'm there. I'm going to be fucking miserable. Cook for my mom. Her kitchen's nothing. Like, she, it's a shitty kitchen she's got, honestly. There's no room to cook. And uh, I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be exceptionally depressed. I'll be comp Uh, well, I've got a job lined up. Like it's something where I will probably, I will probably end up getting a job at the place where my brother works now. That's probably where I'm going to end up working. Which is another thing. I will be way too tired to cook because I'm going to be working full time. Um. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So this video is going to be on Pete's because Pete's is in quite a predicament. If you don't know, I don't know how you don't know, but if you don't know, he has to move in with his mother. Yes, his mother that is in a assisted living facility. It's not really a nursing home, but it kind of is. It's a home where you have different levels of care, right? From independent to semi-independent to totally dependent on somebody else. So it's a facility with all types of people over a certain age that has different levels of mobility. So that's where he's going to be staying with his mom. He really shouldn't be staying there because she can't have long-term guests. But his brother had to do it for quite some time, I think over a year or so his brother was there. Finally, his brother moved out with a roommate, and that roommate is his girlfriend, and they were having issues. But that's the beside the point. Pete's has to be with his mother for the time being because it seems Chantal is no longer going to be paying for a place, a bachelor, a one-bedroom, maybe even a room first and last. You know, that was the idea that we got from the conversation that, you know, with between Chantel and Pete's, Pete said, hey, she's going to be paying first and last and he's going to be okay. But now it seems when they went to Cornwall this past weekend, I guess reality has hit the fan and Pete's is now knowing, coming to understand that Chantel does not have the monies to afford him a place where she's paying for it until he can get back on his feet. So that's really sad really sad and Pete's is coming to a very dark deep reality that maybe he should have done something earlier so between exhaustion and having a tiny little kitchen in a one bedroom uh, apartment with no privacy I probably am not going to be they'll have my lunch breaks like 30 minutes it'll be like a 30 minute lunch just remember my days off I mean I guess we'll see I'm going to have to stay up here for a while. Yeah. Yeah, lucky me. I'm going to be able to fucking... I'll get to look for another apartment in fucking Cornwall. Be stuck there for the rest of my fucking life. going to be such great goddamn time. I was fucking out and getting dragged back there. I'm never going to escape Cornwall. I'm fucking miserable. Well, we told him, right? Didn't we? We told him. We literally said, hey, Pete, maybe what you should do is get a roommate or two right away. Well, I was saying that. I was like, hey, get two roommates, rent the place out. Everybody pays $750 a month. That could cover rent and utilities because rent is $1775 a month. Utilities could maybe bring it up to like $2,200 or so, maybe $2,250. $750 times three. How much is that? 2250. So there you go. Everybody pays 750 each times three. 
you make rent, you make your utilities and everybody is good, especially in times like these. You don't want to give up a place, a two bedroom for that kind of price in that area is actually a really good deal. But hey, he's not listening to people. He didn't listen when BBJ was supposed to go to the vet. He didn't want to take BBJ to the vet. Other people hey, said, hey, we'll take BBJ to the vet. All you got to do is put her in the crate. I'll come and pick her up. And I'll even pay for the vet. Didn't want to do that. It seems he's never proactive in life. He's always reactive. And then he is so slow in reacting that shit will hit the fan before he actually reacts. Because this didn't have to be this way. A lot of people said, rent out Chantel's room because you don't want her to throw you to the wolves. You don't want to not rent her room out before it's too late. Right? And look what has happened. You know, the limit is, you know. How long can you stand to live in a one bedroom? Can two people stand to live in a one bedroom apartment? One for only US border, for 7,000 people, not many high paying jobs facing Google. No. Clear, Mrs. Awa. Why am I mad at myself? Because I fucked up. Because I completely fucked up my life, Claire. What would have you done differently? I mean, I should have been. I should have been looking for work, or I should have, you know, done a better job at making. YouTube a career, treating YouTube as a career before now, it's just... Now he's upset, he's angry, he's pissed that he's back in Cornwall and he will never, ever, ever be able to leave. He's gonna have to work 8 hours plus the commute time, it could be 9 to a 10 hour day and then he's gonna be tired, he won't be able to do YouTube, especially at his mom's place, he won't be able to cook because she doesn't have a proper kitchen. All these excuses, but if I was in his shoe, I'll be cooking, I'll be on live streams. In fact, I'll be doing two live streams a day. I'll be doing a video. Video, two live streams, boom, boom, boom. Get as much money and eyes on my content as possible so that I can get the hell up out of a really super shitty situation. But that is just me. I would be doing that right away. In fact, I wouldn't even be in the situation where I have to depend on my mom because there's a lot of people who cannot depend on their mothers because one their mothers might not be around two their mothers might not even care their family members don't care there's lots of people out there where their family members don't care about each other so if you're going through a hard time or homelessness they don't give a shit there's people out there families out there like that so at least he has his brother to you know hook him up with the job and at least he has his mother that will be able to share her one bedroom living accommodations arrangements with Pete's. At first he says, hey, I'll sleep during the day. She'll sleep at night. Maybe the kid do head to, I don't know, head to foot. You know, you know how it is, you know, head to toe, head to foot, whatever you want to call it, where one person sleeps on one side, the other person sleeps in the opposite orientation. But now he's saying, hey, I'm going to sleep on the couch. Okay, fine, Pete, sleep on the couch. But maybe what he should do is maybe go to Walmart to get a futon, Get it delivered because Walmart does that so that you have a couch that can convert into a bed. So you are not waiting on your mother. If you're in a situation where you're super tired, you're not waiting on your mother to get up and get out of the room. You can at least be in the living room and get some sleep, especially when you can find that nice cozy job where you can work and do what you need to do. There's a lot of things that he can do right now to set himself straight. He should have been saving. He should have been spending his money like he did. And he can still do YouTube. I don't know why he's saying he can't do YouTube. He still can do YouTube. He needs to look for positive positivities, I should say, rather than looking at the entire situation as a negative. He keeps saying he doesn't want to live in shitty Cornwall, but this is the same guy that will not want to leave his own room or get out of the luxury villa at any time so so what is the difference between him being in cornwall in a room versus him being in ottawa specifically orleans area ottawa and in a room i don't get it somebody please tell me anyways he's getting pissy he's depressed he quit his job that's another thing he should not quit his job he really shouldn't have quit his job there's a lot of benefits that could have been had from not quitting that job but he quit the job Worst thing ever that he could have ever done 
because he could have gotten a package. He could have transitioned like a parallel transition to another type of job. Rogers is a huge conglomerate at this point, a huge corporation worth billions upon billions of dollars. What he should have done is simply, simply wait it out, get the benefits he needs, keep waiting. I'm sure they're going to threaten to fire him. That's okay because they do that to everybody. Maybe get himself a lawyer if they did fire him because that to me would be an illegal firing. He still has the right to that job. It has benefits and it's full time. You don't get full time jobs these days. They're very scarce. And on top of that, it had benefits. The worst thing to have done is to have left that job. And that's exactly what he did. So overall, Pete's is the only person to blame for his situation. If I'm going to be honest with you, he is the maker of his own demise. He is the one that has placed himself in these si shitty decisions when tons of people have been telling Pete's, hey, Pete's, you need to be proactive. Hey, Pete's, you need to do this. Hey, Pete's, you better do this X, Y, and Z because you don't want to be placed in a worse off situation. But I still do think at the end of the day, what he needs to do is, well, get roommates and stay at the luxury villa. So at least, you know, his mind is in a better place that he's not in Orleans. Get a job. A job. Just get a job. Maybe apply again. Reapply to Rogers. Get back his old job. Because he does have an advantage over other applicants that he's worked there before. He's familiar. He knows what he's doing. He doesn't need to be trained more or less. Maybe, maybe a few days, maybe a day, maybe two. Orientate him back to what he was doing before. But at the end of the day, Pete's is responsible for who? Himself. Plus, a lot of people feel as if Pete's shouldn't have done many things that he has done. But hey, at the end of the day, he's nearly 40 years old. He is responsible for himself. And he needs to suck it up in many ways where he needs to learn how to take care of himself. And not just depend on foodie beauty to be paying the rent and paying for the food. Because it's tough out there. It's hard. It's difficult. It is. But at least he has his mother. At least he has his brother. Even though him and his brother don't get along that well. At least they have each other. All Peace needs to do now is suck it up. Get a job. Come home. Do YouTube. Maybe a live stream for an hour. Hour and a half. Then take a break do his thing, eat dinner, do whatever, go on another live stream and make his money so that he can survive. And that's it. No, I have always made it clear that I am not suicidal. Like I have always, CBA and yeah, fucking whatever. Thanks for the super chat at least. I have always made it very, very clear that I am not suicidal. When people have asked me about that shit, I've made it clear that I'm not suicidal. So fuck you for suggesting that it's something that I do a lot, that I regularly do. Fuck you. I am not going to sit here and be accused of being of engaging in fucking suicide baiting. Fuck you. That is not something I've ever fucking done. Fuck you for even uh, for accusing me of it. I'm not fucking putting up with that shit.